you doing? I I'm sorry to say, but I was passing on my way home and I thought I may as well drop round Sophie back for us. We're just having a family dinner. Of course, I won't keep you. No, uh, why don't you come in? Have a glass of wine? I don't want to intrude on your evening. Well, don't be daft. She's not as she fell. I shouldn't drink. Well, tea then? Okay. Phil and I have decided to give it another go. Congratulations. Yeah, so I suppose this is like a little celebration. All the family together. Right, Lola? Staging a rebellion. <laughs> yeah. So, Joe, come on, Trish, uh, tell us a joke. Oh, I, I don't usually. I, mean, I can never remember. Them. Uh, yeah, so I'm one. You're up. I've got one, right? Oh, no, right, here so, we go. Here no, we this go. bloke. Oh, he's <laughs> saved by the bell. Okay. Don't tell him. Don't tell him. Oh, Joe, you're not going to tell him. Oh, Joe, you're not going Hello, Philip. You can't just barge in here. Oh, you got quite a hard room. I'm Lexi's social worker. <laughs> sure, come on. Yes, that's my name. I'm his ex. Oh, right. That's what we're like round here. We're really friendly. Like one big happy family, eh, Phil? That's right. Oh. You're asking me to stay? Yeah. Yeah, why not? Why not? The only person she can make a fool of is herself. Besides, I ain't scared of her. Right. Thanks for that. I'll, I'll see myself. Oh, no, no, stay. I've got enough here to feed an army. No, I'm sure Trisha's got her own family to get back to, Sharon. You're right, I, I really want Well, to... I'm sure they can spare you for one night. Just a small portion. Do you remember when I used to throw meals like this, Phil? It's quite similar, really, isn't it? Yeah. Except that we all used to get a takeaway and burp at the table, eh, Rox? <laughs> pie looks lovely, by the way, Sharon. Thank you, Alfie. It's funny. That's not what you said earlier. Oh, she's yeah. silly winding you up. Talking of wind-ups, did Roxy tell you about our bet? Surely. Two months. She gave you and Phil. Now, I thought that was really generous. I said two weeks. <laughs> I bet she's got a chef out there. I'm flattered, Shirley. Alfie, what about that joke? Yeah, 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 okay, okay, I got a joke. Um, okay. Uh, what do you call a dinosaur with no eyes? Do you think he saw us? <laughs> Alfie. Yeah, we're a tough crowd, okay. Anyway, okay, here's another one, right? Look at her. Uh, Not a hair out of place. Got a blow dry earlier. Yeah, I bet you did. You plan everything, don't you? Well, I like to be organised. You'd never know, would you? That she was all set to walk down the aisle with another fella and say, I do. And now she's shacked up with Phil. Charlie. No, it's fine. But I'm sure Trish ain't interested in my love life, are you? But did she crack? No. She just carried on without a slip. Well, I've never been one to sit around feeling sorry for myself, Shirley. No, but there must be a crack in such a perfect front. Come on, give some hope to the rest of us. I never said I was perfect, did I? No. Enlighten me. What are you hiding? Jack found out about your dark side, did he, and decided to call the old thing off. You're ridiculous. I think it's time you left. No! It's just getting interested. Go on, go on. Why are you looking so guilty? You're the one that can't even see straight. I mean, look at you, you can't even sit upright. It's pathetic. What did you say? <laughs> I mean, just turning up at your ex's house because you ain't got a life of your own. It's a bit weird, isn't it? You're weird. <laughs> Roxy? Oh, I'm sure. Oh. It'd be a relief. Cos you lot are so boring. Now, Alfie, mm -hmm. don't give up the day job. <laughs> 